In previous tutorial, we already know how to break the object into pieces, and now we are going to create uh, more UI. And uh, for example, we are going to allow you to to be able to update the score GUI dynamically, and uh, also able to update the HP GUI dynamically as well. And also, we will put a timer to count down. Able to count down the timer. Also, we will put more buttons like a quit, replay, or link to the fan page. So, back to the Unity. Just like the start page, we are going to create uh, another empty object called Game Manager. Oh, we already have the Game Manager in here. Okay, it's empty. Before that, we create a prefab for this column. Just drag it into here and hit Save. So back to here. We simply just uh, duplicate this uh, GUI control star and change the name to gameplay. Okay, double click this one to open it. So this is the old one. We are going to do some change in here. So first of all is score system. Score GUI system. Then it's the HP GUI system. Then it's the timer. And the buttons. Okay. So for the score GUI system, first of all, we need to create uh, the score text first. We are using the GUI label as well. And still in the center, but this one the Y position will be 0 and uh, the size will be 256 by 64 height for the text and this one we won't use the texture we will use dynamic text so we were using text style to do that the G, uh, actually, we are using GUI style, and in this GUI style, we will give a name called uh, text style. In here, okay, and for displaying this text style, we need to put something to make it dynam dynamically, which is the string format. Start from zero. Score. Okay. So we need to declare these two variable. Don't forget this one. Something uh, actually is in here. So we need to put the score 
let's call it uh, int int data type start from zero and for the text GUI style will be GUI style in here and check in the unity okay there's something wrong in here let's say play button or oh, that's the oldest stuff it's fine we will we will fix this later maybe just uncommon so let's see how it looks like in the game also we need to drag this one to here there's nothing in here there's no text style but uh, as default we can take a look click on the maximum maximize on play click on the play there's nothing here the reason why there is nothing here is because the default color is black we need to change to white see so there is a zero in here but it might be too small we need to change the font so you can create create your own font in here uh, but you need to be the true type let's find out I remember I have a true type of font in somewhere. Let's call uh, Okay, copy this one. And under the art assets, review in the finder. You can then we just copy the font into here let's call it uh, this name close the finder back to here and by the way the font need to be true type if not or you want to create a true type font you can Google on the internet to find somewhere to convert your font into true type. So right now for this uh, font size is 16. Then go back to the game manager. And there is a font option in here. You can simply just drag into here. And also go back to here. We need to create a folder called font. Drag this one into here. Go back to the game manager. Okay, let's click again, see what happened. Okay, it's a little bit bigger, but it's still kind of small. And the, the position is not right. Let's fix the alignment first. Go to the game manager. So in here, the alignment is the upper left. We need to change to the middle center. And uh, hit play again. Okay, so it's zero right now. If you think it's too small, and because it's a custom font, custom font, so you need to change the size in here, like. Uh, 32 and hit apply hit apply and play again it should be twice bigger see like this and also because remember we set the size to 64 if we set to 16 what will happen let's take a look 
hit a save, play. See, it won't look right. So you need to at least make your size bigger than your font. I think 32 should be okay. Let's take a look. Okay. So again, because we changed to 32, so it's from here to here is 32, and the, the position is from 0 from the top. If we change to 64, so the whole font, the position for the whole font will look down a bit. So visually, I think uh, we will change back to the 64. It's a better looking. Okay, that's good. So now we want to add something more for the user. Allow the user to earn some point. And how should we do that? We can mm, when user tap on or hit on the object, the user can get ten points. And uh, these 10 points will add up to score GUI dynamically. So how should we do that? Let's go back to the tap to break. I mean tap to, tap to break script. So remember in here, before we, when we hit on the object, it will reduce the HP for 10, 10 points. And then now, we also want to make it has the score and add up to 10 points each time. So we can simply just do Uh, what's the script? GUI control gameplay. We need to access into the GUI control gameplay script to get the score variable and change the score dynamically. Each time we want to add up 10 points, so just simply put a 10. And remember, because the score we set to int, so we don't need to put the decimal in there. Just uh, put 10 in here. Go back to the GUI control gameplay. We need to change the score variable into static. Otherwise, it cannot find. Let's try again. So when we hit, see, got a 10, 20, 40, 40, 50, 60, until it broken. Okay. So that's for the score system.